Alrighty, so I've always thought that tank is literally like the most giga chag class on the face of this planet. I mean, like, single-handedly carrying the health of your teammates on your back. That's just that's just the most Giga Chat thing I've ever heard of before. So that's why today I'm going to be maxing out a tank set. Okay, well, probably not maxing out. I mean, my, I'm kind of broke right now. But I'm going to be getting a decent tank set, and then we're going to go uh, basically just, just play tank. Also, because I'm trying to beat my absolute Giga Chad rival, Future77, in subscribers, it would really mean a lot to me if you guys could like the video and subscribe. And anyways, onto the video. So right now, uh, my tank gear is, yeah, it, it, it's kind of bad. I mean, it's, it's definitely not terrible, but yeah, I, I definitely could use an upgrade. The Mender Crown seems fine for now, I'd say, but the rest of it definitely needs to be worked on. But I am kind of broke right now is the, is the main issue. Um, so I wonder if my minions actually have anything. This is like, this is the exact area I always come to if I'm just financially unstable in Skyblock. I'll just come to my slime minions and they'll give me like 20 mil every single time. It's ridiculous. But I did just recently collect them, so I don't know how much I'm going to be getting from these guys right now. Oh my goodness, the, this Mel minion, almost a stack of enchanted Mel blocks and six enchanted diamond blocks. That's that's pretty good. I, I got to keep that guy going. That guy's been going for what, like a month now or something? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep that guy going for a little while longer. Anyways, by selling that all to the bazaar, I have the 30, 34 mil. Yeah, that's, that's not too good. Do I have like anything in here I could sell? Okay, I have a few items I can go ahead and sell, but they're probably not going to sell instantaneously is the problem. Oh my goodness, <laughs> level 100 sheeps are 12 mil. Okay, I, I, I'll take that, dude. Yeah, I kind of always forget, like, I have a bunch of random items sitting around on my island that I could just sell for probably, like, hundreds of millions of coins worth of profit. Anyways, that's all besides the point. The point is, I'm going to try and get this tank armor to be, like, decent at least. But actually, how much are, um, how much are gems to get? Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to go with Flawless Amethyst and put that all in here because, uh, yeah, Perfect Amethyst, that, that's a bit expensive. But I think the question is, would Flawless Rubies be a bit better than the flawless amethyst i think i'm leaning towards the the rubies because they are just a bit cheaper than the uh than the amethyst ones are but anyways first things first before gems even uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put fumings on but not actually through the hex because that is extremely unsatisfactory gotta put these on the manual way all right how many of these do i need i think i need like 15 wow okay 18 mil that's ah uh, yeah okay okay Alrighty, so there we go. All the fumings have been applied. Let me come back over to the hex now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put on the um the uh the flawless rubies here. Yeah, 22 health versus 22 defense. Would ooh, yeah, would would defense or health be better? I mean, this one's obviously more expensive, but if it gives me more EHP, I'd be willing to pay, I guess. Actually, I can test real quick. Let me move that out of the way. I'm pretty sure I can just test real quick. Alrighty, so my EHP with this is 17,579. Now, if I take these off and I go ahead and remove the gemstones here and instead put fine rubies. Now, if I put this on, I'm getting 17,249. Yeah, I guess putting the amethyst on would give me ever so slightly more uh, more EHP. Now, I'm probably going to actually have to sell a couple more things. But yeah, let me go ahead and put on the flawless amethyst here. Also, that looks like really, really good. Like the fully, uh, fully purple gemstone slots. Actually, that looks like really, really cool. My purse is just absolutely screaming right now. This is extremely expensive. There's the second piece. And finally, for the chest plate. Also, how much of an upgrade is this even? Okay, it's literally only eight defense upgrade, which I mean is definitely an upgrade, but I mean, it's definitely not worth the extra, what, like 40, 50 mil. And there we go. Now we actually have decent gems on this. We have fumings on this. What else do I need? Obviously master stars, but I, I, I'm kind of broke right now. So I'm probably just going to stick with like first masters. So yeah, let me actually come back to the island here and let me, I have a couple of livid daggers here I can sell. So yeah, let me go ahead and list some of these livid daggers up. And uh, yeah, I will be back right once I finish that. But anyways, I just kind of sold a few things and now we're almost up to 35 mil. And now I can like actually put, uh, put master stars on this stuff. Which is, uh, which is pretty dope. Actually, let me just check. Is there anything else I need? Let me check enchants real quick, actually, just to make sure. So I'm missing something here. Oh, I'm, I'm missing smarty pants. L let's go, boys. 10 mil for, for 25 intelligence. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to pass on that one. Also, I think, is hardened mana, like, the strategy for this? Hardened mana 6 isn't even that expensive. So it would be gain 0.6% of mana used near you as defense. That's, that's really bad, actually. I think I think I'd rather go with Man of Vampire, right? Yeah, I think I think Man of Vampire is probably the strategy. So what's like? Oh, I I can't even get anything 
actually i can't even get anything past man of vampire 4. so uh man of vampire 4 it is i guess also what wait 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 a minute how is there a uh, how did you how did this zombie even I, I'm so confused. There's a zombie in the hex. Um, how how is this even possible? Yeah, yeah, buddy. You you uh you go and explore the world, man. He's no no my friend. Also, for people asking about like G6 P6, uh, that's a bit out of my budget right now. Not gonna lie. I mean, like G6 is like 4.2 mil, and I'm pretty sure Parat 6, wherever it is right here, is yeah 4.1 mil. And so in total, it would be like 24 mil just to get full G6 P6. Which um yeah, I'm gonna put Master Stars instead because I think Master Stars would probably be better, or you know just like more worth it, I guess. So let me go ahead and grab some XP here. Roll over to the Master Stars. I'm probably just gonna put First Masters. So there we go. First master on the gold or boot gonna need a lot more levels let me actually do a colossal i don't think that's really gonna matter too much but hey boom first master on the leggings grab some more xp here and finally boom first master on the chest plate and oh my goodness <laughs> my purse is just it's just dead man yeah my purse is not looking too good right now but hey at least i have this absolute like giga chai gold or armor here i mean it's definitely not like 10 start or anything but hey it's not too, too bad. Anyways, putting on this full set, I have 71,316 EHP. That's with a silverfish on. Let's go blue whale, and I'm getting now uh, 97,905 EHP. That, that definitely is not bad at all. But if I actually come over here, and I set this to health, as well as put on, where is it? Healthy right here. I have 136,590 EHP. That's uh, that's pretty good, not gonna lie. Wow, my purse is at like an all-time low right now. Anyways, there are a few things I want to go ahead and test. And in the Crimson Isle, I'm pretty sure a lot of the stuff deals like true damage, but I still want to see. Can I tank this thing? The answer is no. Uh, I I mean I I should have been able to tank that. Or does it just like insta kill? I think Blade Soul might actually just insta kill with that attack because I've never seen someone start. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that's an insta kill, regardless of how much health or like defense you have. But now let's see, it's a normal attack, and yeah. Yeah, as I expected, it, it's just. It, yeah. You, you, you're not. You can't really do anything against me, buddy. I mean, I could sit here all day. Except, of course, when he does that attack. Then, then I can't really sit there all day. Okay, maybe Crimson Isle isn't the uh, the the ideal place to test this in. I'm just trying to think. Uh, what Slayer is good to test? Enderman Slayer, maybe? But I think some of that stuff does deal true damage. I mean, I, it's worth a shot. I could still give it a go here. All right, yeah, let me go ahead and summon in a Tier 4 Enderman. I mean, I feel like I'm going to, like, instantaneously get killed. Because I feel like it does true damage. But I guess we'll see. So, yeah, let me actually just, for now, go ahead and swap into my Mage Gear here. So that I can actually, like, kill these things. And, well, uh, hopefully uh, I can actually not die to this thing. All right, so now I'm getting, like, really, really close to summoning this in. I'm going to come back out here. And, yeah, okay, here, here we here we go. Please tell me I can tank this thing. It's it's not looking too bad so far. Definitely could look a, uh, a bit better. But, I mean, I'm not necessarily dying. Also, I just realized I completely forgot a power orb. All righty, let me, let me actually not throw and let me actually get my mana flux down. Okay, now, now we should be chilling, I think. Obviously, just just until the mana flux actually runs out. Oh yeah, I, I I can just sit here. This this thing is dealing like absolutely no damage to me whatsoever. Well, this is gonna be the most boring. What is that? Two minutes and thirty eight seconds of my life. Actually, can I just can I just? Sit? I don't even think I need to. I don't even need to do anything. I can just sit here. Well, place down another mana flux, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna get back up to full health here. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a glass of water real quick. All right, I'm back. Oh, look at that. I'm still not dead. And there we go. Technically I failed it, but I I think of it more as a draw. Yeah, this this is uh this is a bit OP, not gonna lie. Alrighty, and that's for the final test here. We're just gonna be playing some some M5 here as a tank, of course. And uh yeah, I'm just gonna see how well I can do. And so far it's actually not looking too bad. Anyways, I think we're about to enter the boss fight, and I just wanna see what my EHP is. <laughs> 4.8 mil that's uh for a cat of like 30 what am i 38 i think yeah for a cat of 38 i gotta say that's some pretty good ehp Alrighty, so so far actually i'm not doing too terrible like i'm just 
I'm just able to sit here. <laughs> Dude, the, these guys aren't even doing damage to me at all. I'm just sitting here and watching my teammates bully that livid over there. Like, this, this is... This is incredible. I, I love this. I'm gonna have to actually start playing tank a bit more often, maybe. I mean, like, look at this. I they they literally can't even kill me. Like, I'm I'm just practically invincible right now. Also, my healing is like literally insane, bro. Like, it, I I'm healing so much right now. Well, anyways, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end the video for today. Thank you all so very much for watching. Like I already said earlier, please do like and subscribe, as I would highly highly appreciate it. And yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your days, and I'll see you guys in the next one.